your AFN Afghanistan Freedom Watch update. I'm Petty Officer Octavio Ortiz. Village elders and religious leaders gathered in Marja district in southern Afghanistan for the third shura or town hall meeting. They discussed topics related to improving security and governance. Marja's district governor presided over a ribbon cutting ceremony before the shura to mark the renovation of the town's government center. The ceremony also symbolized recognition of Afghanistan's government in Marja. More than 200 elders and mullahs attended the shura an increase from 60 at the last one. U.S. Ambassador to Afghanistan Carl Eikenberry said Afghans working in carpentry and construction are in high demand, both to build the nation's infrastructure and improve the human capital. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Jackson shows us how more Afghans are joining the labor force in these fields. Afghans from Paktika province gathered together for a graduation ceremony in the town of Orgun. The ceremony recognized the achievements of 32 students who completed a 90-day vertical skills course. Students learned basic construction, plumbing, electrical skills, and masonry. The PRT funds it, but uh, there's a contractor that runs the whole school. And uh, so it's Afghan instructors, there's an Afghan headmaster, and uh, there's really no coalition force presence at all. The students will have their own jobs and they will be working for their families, feeding their families. And they will be serving for their country as a professional uh, laborers. Other schools around Paktika province have also held vertical skills courses, but this is the first of its kind for the town of Orgun. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Jackson, Paktika province, Afghanistan.